Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, North Flight Images. And um, in this short video, um, I'm going to cover a new printer I have to test. Uh, somebody from Canon dropped this off for me yesterday. It's a Canon TC20-M. It's pigment ink printer. It is only four inks though. So it's an ink tank printer. So you fill it up at the side here, put the inks in, and uh, I'm going to be testing it to see basically what sort of print quality I can get from it. Now it's a 24 inch printer, roll paper. It also has a scanner, A4 scanner here, and it takes sheet paper as well. There are, however, um, before you get too carried away and think, wow, 24 inch printer, I can start making big prints. This is done on a 24 inch printer. Um, there are a few caveats to that. Uh, first of all, as I said, it's only four inks, so it's CMYK. So there are no extra inks, no extra light colors, no grays or anything like that. So I'm curious to see what can get from it. But I suspect that with good profiling and as long as you're printing images that don't overly push the gamut, then you may well be able to get good results. I don't know as yet. I'm going to be doing the testing. Um, if you've got any questions particular relating to this printer, please do let me know in the comments and I'll make sure I try and cover them when I do more uh, videos and reviews of this printer. Uh, there's a um, USB socket here so you can print stuff off uh, memory sticks. It has wireless, USB, Ethernet connectivity. Um, what's not like, not so like, there's a print catcher at the side here, which I've, I've set up, which is fits in the front to catch prints. It even has a cutter. So the paper cutter, um, it will trim off uh, prints to whatever size you're using. Uh, it's actually lighter, it's, it's slightly longer, but it's smaller than the P5000 I've got here. I use for more you know, fine art style printing. Um, but as I say, where's the issue? Well, one issue that I will mention right at the start, as I said, before we get too carried away thinking, wow, 24 inch printer on the cheap. I say roll paper and cutter is that if I take the roll out here and this is uh, just plain paper, this is a roll that uh, I got with it. Uh, this is just ordinary plain paper. So, you know, if you want to print something big, that's great. I'll be having a look at some of the poster printing software as well that is available for this. But the big problem is it only accepts roll paper on two inch cores. Now, unfortunately, all the paper I've got in stock, all the fine art papers, I recently tested some Hannah Muller ones, for example, and some Innova papers, and I have a lot of different papers, um, fine art papers, photo papers and things, they're all on three inch cores. That's the size of the paper tube in the side here. You, there is no adapter. This is limited to two inch. Now that does limit the paper range you can use. It means that certainly some of my fine art papers, I can't really try on this. Sure, I can try print uh, on sheets, but it is limited despite the size of the printer. It's sheet size is limited to A3 from the feed here. So it, there are a few limitations. Now, I have got some uh, papers that I'll be able to test on this, some photo papers and the like. And I'm gonna see what else I can find. I've got this here for a while to see what I can actually do. But yeah, yeah, there are limitations on it. I suspect I'm gonna be able to get some very nice looking prints off it. As long as you have appropriate sort of limits on your expectations. You are not going to get a printer like this for doing fine art printing on the cheap. Um, sorry, I know people want a printer this size, everything like that, and they want lots more inks. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna get it. If you want a fine art printer, get something like say in the Canon range, the Pro 2100 would be a 24 inch, but that is huge. If I had that here, I wouldn't be able to have the desk here. It's uh, This is a desktop 24 inch printer and that's what made it interesting for this. So um, I pop this roll of plain paper back in here as the uh, roll for that. The plain paper feed is here, so you can put your sheets in there. That's the sheet, and you can stack them up as well. There we go. A little bit stiff that one. And um, what else? Well, I did just print my standard test image. 
this is printed on plain paper. Um, it is exactly what I would expect from printing on plain paper, but the colour is actually quite good. Uh, the black and white looks quite reasonable. Um, obviously I'm going to have to do profiling and lots more testing and things to actually be able to say with any certainty how good it is on different papers and things. But um, it's an interesting printer. It's a bit different from what I normally look at and um, hopefully it'll be of interest to a few people. But as I say, please do you know, ask away if you've got any questions, either here on YouTube or drop me an email at Northlight Images um, if you've got longer questions, a bit easier to deal with than the comment boxes on YouTube. But uh, there it is, uh, yeah, not a bad little printer at all. Well, I say little printer. Biggish printer. Still took two people to get it in here. I could not lift this up and carry it up. Yeah, you know, I couldn't bring this up the stairs myself and put it in. So um, yeah, there you go. Canon TC twenty M. I put a link to it if you want to see the specs on it um, for it in the review, uh, in 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 the notes to this video. But uh, as I say ask away. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel. Um, I believe also select notifications or something. I don't personally use YouTube much so I always forget these things for it. So uh, there, there you go. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope it's of interest.